hi. So, last subtopic for chapter 2, which is 2.5 compensation point. Okay, are you ready? What means by this point? Kenapa penting sangat point ni? What is so important about this point? Uh, especially for the plants. And is it important also for us? Okay, kita akan tengok. What mean by this point? Compensation point. What is it? Compensation point. Okay. So, the first learning standard, you are able to describe what mean by this compensation point. Are you ready? Okay, ready with pen, pencil and also your buku rampayan. Okay, so what is the definition for this compensation point? Alright, the definition of the compensation point is the level of light intensity when the rate of respiration is equal to the rate of photosynthesis. Okay, what means by this? Okay, you need to remember that plants not only do photosynthesis but plants also do the process of respiration. So when the rate of respiration that been done, that been uh, done by the plant equal to the rate of photosy photosynthesis, this is the point which is known as compensation point. Okay, so at this point, the rate of carbon dioxide released by the plant, okay, uh, Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, at this point, the rate of the carbon dioxide release by the plant, yalah, by the plants, which is from the process of respiration, is equal to the rate of carbon dioxide uptake by the plant for the process of photosynthesis. Okay? Alright. So, Okay, so look here. Right, during night, what happened? Okay, during night, the plants, okay, the plants, right, will do process respiration. What mean by process of respiration? It means that the oxygen from the environment, okay, will be used by the plant to do process respiration and the uh, apa? Uh, the product of respiration, one of it is carbon dioxide. So, carbon dioxide will be released out. So, during night, what happened? The rate of respiration in plant is higher than the rate of photosynthesis. Maksudnya, the daun-daun tu akan buat banyak respiration. Means that more oxygen will be used by the plant. And the plant also will release carbon dioxide because of this respiration process. Okay? Okay. Seterusnya. Alright. Like say uh, morning. Okay. When morning, the light intensity is low. Okay. So, during low light intensity, what will happen by this plant? Okay. All the plant, alright, okay, will do both. Respiration and photosynthesis. So, respiration need oxygen. So, oxygen from the process of photosynthesis will be used by the plant for do respiration. And then, respiration will release out carbon dioxide. So, this carbon dioxide we will be used by the plant to do photosynthesis. So, ada yang extra tak? Tak ada. So, during this low light intensity, the rate of respiration is equal to the rate of photosynthesis. So, kat sini lah, compensation point berlaku. Oxygen digunakan for the plant and carbon dioxide also digunakan for the plant. Dia tak ada extra. Okay. Then, katakanlah during noon. Okay. The light intensity higher. So, what will happen? So, Sama juga, carbon dioxide ada, uh, respiration ada, photosynthesis ada. Cuma, the difference is, dekat sini, eh, light, uh, high light intensity. Alright. Okay. What happened? 
because from the environment okay uh, the plant will take it okay it will uptake the carbon dioxide and then do the process photosynthesis so photosynthesis will release oxygen okay and more oxygen will be produced because the light intensity higher rate of photosynthesis higher so more oxygen will be produced so more oxygen okay the extra oxygen will be released out so during this high light intensity the rate of photosynthesis is higher than the rate of respiration got it okay okay so the second learning standard right you need to compare the differences between the photosynthesis and respiration so before we go discuss about what is compensation point you need to remember plant do photosynthesis and respiration so what are the differences so kena tulis okay ready all right so photosynthesis in plants and cellular respiration in plants okay similarities differences all right similarities for both okay photosynthesis and cellular respiration in plant both take place in all plant tak kisahlah pokok tu besar ke kecil ke hijau ke kuning ke apa ke whatsoever berbunga ke tak berbunga ke all plants do these two process photosynthesis and respiration okay and then all right both plants okay okay for the both process involve the uptake and also the release of gases so these two are similarities boleh ingat tak nanti dekat kelas saya nak buat satu aktiviti ni uh, you kena ingat siapa yang tak ingat uh, dia kalah lah dalam aktiviti tu right so ready for the differences okay differences photosynthesis all green plant respiration all living things including plants and animal so this process okay next photosynthesis process okay happen only in the cell which is the cell has chlorophyll cellular respiration happens in all cell tak kira lah plant cell ke animal cell ke respiration occur okay photosynthesis the metabolic reaction is anabolism for respiration process metabolic reaction is catabolism okay boleh ingat tiga ni tiga je ke differences dia tak ada lagi okay ingat eh jangan salin ingat je dulu hafal try to hafal nanti dekat sekolah saya tanya kita buat satu aktiviti i hope you can able to list all these ref, uh, differences okay next photosynthesis okay which is take place in chloroplast respiration mitochondria all right photosynthesis can you tell me what are the materials that needed for the photosynthesis diperlukan apa tepung gula betul ke ke diperlukan gas Alright, the materials that needed for the process of photosynthesis are carbon dioxide and water. For the respiration, okay, it needs glucose and oxygen. Alright, products, okay, products, photosynthesis, glucose and oxygen respiration it will produce carbon dioxide water and energy and light is needed for photosynthesis respiration no energy no light energy is needed okay boleh ingat all these seven differences dekat sekolah nanti kita akan buat aktiviti eh remember all these seven differences okay cuba tutup mata sekejap ingat balik apakah tujuh-tujuh differences and apakah dua 
similarities tadi. Boleh? Okey. Baik, seterusnya. You need to analyze the light intensity, okay, and also the compensation point using a graph. Okay, untuk yang ini, saya nak semua orang ready dengan pencil, pembaris and buku rampayan. So, your buku rampayan, you write down index, compensation, point using, sorry, Uh, you write down index, compensation point. Okay, cukup. Okay, index, compensation point. Lepas tu, title also, compensation point. In bracket, you write down lah graph. So, kita akan lukis graph. Okay, dah? So, <coughs> ready? How the graph for this light intensity and compensation point look like? Okay, ambil pembaris eh. Mesti guna pembaris. Baik, saya nak awak lukis dalam buku rampayan tu uh, minimum. Okay, minimum uh, mesti 8 lines dalam 8 garisan. 8 lines. Within the 8 lines, you draw this graph. Okay, so you draw this. 8 lines eh. 8 garis, 8, 8, 8 baris then you draw. Within the eight lines. Okay. Dah. Guna pencil. Jangan guna pen. Guna pencil. Dan pembaris. Okay. Dah. Senang je kan? Baik. So, you lukis dulu. Graph ni. Y and X axis. Lepas tu, dekat sini ada satu lagi garisan. And then, this is the curve for the graph. And then the arrow. This arrow referring to this point. This titik. Okay. So, for the X as is. Is. Light intensity. Okay. So, this. Okay. Low. And at this point is high. So, you label. Ah, Boleh guna pen yang labeling ni. Lukis juga arrow ni. Ah, Lukis. Exactly the same. Okay, done. Baik, seterusnya. Okay. Dekat Y axis. Dekat sini pula. Okay, ready eh. So, you lukis juga arrow macam ni. Ah, gemukkan sikit macam ni arrow tu. Ah, okay. So, this is. Alright. Uh, you write down. Increasing uptake of carbon dioxide and then arrow downwards. Increasing release of carbon dioxide. Ingat eh, dia bermula pada garisan sini. Okay, cepat lukis. Okay. Dah? Baik. Seterusnya. You label what means by this point. So, this is compensation point. Okay, macam mana nak tengok graf ni? Dah, dah siap lukis belum? Kalau dah siap, kita fokus dulu. Nanti, kalau tak siap, sambung. Okay, baik. Seterusnya, kita tengok eh. Okay, this Uh, apa uh, garisan ini okey garisan ini menunjukkan ialah proses okey proses di mana kita tengok for this upper part okey this upper part okey this area area dekat sini okey warna kuning nampak ni area so you ambil highlighter you highlight sikit area yang kat atas ni Okay, uh, highlighter warna kuning ke, right? And then this area show that, maksudnya dekat atas ni, right, beyond this line, the rate of photosynthesis is more than the rate of respiration. Kenapa? Sebab you tengok, light, in light intensity dia makin tinggi dekat sini. So, bila light intensity higher, okay, more 
okay the stoma will open and then more carbon dioxide will be uh, will be uptake by the plant so the rate of respiration increase so lebih banyak proses fotos the rate of respiration pula the rate of photosynthesis sorry sorry the rate of photosynthesis increase so lebih banyak photosynthesis okay berbanding compared to respiration process so when more photosynthesis release uh, sorry when more photosynthesis been done means that more oxygen will be released and don't forget more sugar okay the product of photosynthesis the glucose okay more glucose will be released boleh okay next seterusnya okay guna highlighter warna pink pula you buat dekat bawah ni highlight sikit kalau tak ada highlighter guna color pencil okay this area yang dekat bawah ni okay you tengok light intensity yang ni nampak ni garisan ni Okay, dekat sini. Maksudnya, light intensity dia low. So, low light intensity, maksudnya chlorophyll tu not excited. Okay, the 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 light energy tu dia tak cukup to excited, to excited the electron. Okay. So, apa jadi? At this area yang bawah ni, okay, the rate of respiration is more than the rate of photosynthesis. Maksudnya, oxygen, okay, oxygen will be used by the plant to do respiration process. So, apa product? What are the product for the respiration? So, dia akan keluarkan carbon dioxide. So, carbon dioxide tu akan digunakan by the plant to do photosynthesis and then release Oksigen. Tapi dekat sini kurang. Okay, low light intensity. So, maksudnya respiration will be more compared to the photosynthesis. So, sugar produce ataupun glucose produce because of the photosynthesis will be less. Sebab sugar yang produce tu akan digunakan by the plant to do respiration. Ingat, respiration, what is the equation for the respiration? Glucose plus oxygen. So, product of photosynthesis, glucose and also oxygen. So, dua-dua ni will be used by the plant to do respiration in order for the plant to make energy for them to grow. Boleh? Boleh? Okay. So, make sure you siap you punya graph ni dalam buku rampayan. Semua ni lah. Gambaran ni ah macam ni. Okay. Boleh eh? Habislah compensation point. Ni je ke? Sikit je. Okay. Seterusnya. Tapi ada seterusnya. <laughs> Baik. Effect. What? Okay. You need to predict what are the effects on plant growth if the rate of photosynthesis and the rate of cellular respiration remain at the compensation point. Apa jadi pada pokok tu? Okay. Sepatutnya pokok tu dia akan keluarkan oksigen yang banyak. Betul tak? Tapi at compensation point, remember photosynthesis equal to respiration. So, apa akan terjadi? Okay. Kita tengok kat sini, apa dia punya effect. First, right, rate, the rate of glucose usage is the same as the rate of production of glucose. So, glucose will be used for the process, in the process of respiration, okay, equal, okay, sama, banyak dengan the production of glucose because of the process photosynthesis tak ada extra okay and then 
because of that, ingat eh, respiration, it will, it needed by the plant for the plant to grow. Untuk dia membesar, untuk dia dapat energy. Bila uh, ada extra glucose, barulah then only the plant will store dalam buah. Okay, so kalau compensation point too long, the compensation is too long, the plant will not able to store the glucose as a food. So, apa jadi? Okay. Ah, kenapa dia tak boleh store food? Because there is no excess sugar. Okay. There is no excess sugar. Sebab sugar tu cukup-cukup, ngam-ngam saja. Untuk pokok tu, do respiration. So, apa jadi? Okay. No sugar can be used for growth and other vital living process. And, oxygen pula. Hmm. Because plant ni dia, dia produce oxygen tapi respiration dia guna balik oxygen tu at the compensation point. So no excess oxygen can be released into the atmosphere to sustain other living things. So you agak-agak lah. Katakanlah compensation point ni terlalu lama. Apa jadi? Pokok dia dah tak boleh nak ada... Uh, makanan, okay, and then kita as a human, animals, we also akan having struggle in apa, in uptake of oxygen, betul tak? So sebab tu compensation point ni dia sekejap je, tapi boleh jadi juga lah kalau dia terlalu lama apa jadi? Okay, nan, alright last. Last slide selepas ni, tadi yang graph you lukis tu, okay, saya nak dekat bahagian bawah tu, salin soalan ni. Okay, ini ialah soalan trial daripada negeri lain. Okay, baik. Tengok eh, graph yang sama dalam soalan ni, okay. Diagram 3.2 show a graph of total carbon dioxide uptake against light intensity. Baik. So, atas ni, the upper, the upper part area. Okay. It show that sebenarnya dekat atas ni ialah the uptake of carbon dioxide increase. By the plan lah. Maksudnya photosynthesis increase. Okay. Dekat bawah ni, uptake of carbon dioxide decrease. So, photosynthesis will be low. Okay, sekarang soalan dia tanya. A farmer found that his crops are growing which is very fast with the production of flowers, seed and fruits in abundance. So, based on diagram 3.2 State which points that support the situation. And then explain your answer. Tiga markah. Eh, salin eh soalan ni. So, agak-agak you, P, Q and R. Mana satu yang menyebabkan the plants grow very fast and then have flowers, seeds and fruits? P ke? Kalau dekat P, logic tak? Cuma fikir. P Light intensity, low. Photosynthesis, low. Kalau photosynthesis low, dekat P, oxygen sikit. And then carbon dioxide, sorry, carbon dioxide, glucose pun sikit. So, bila glucose sikit, ada fruits tak? Tak ada lah. Kan? Okay? So, bukan P. Q. Compensation point. Tadi kita belajar compensation point equal respiration equal to photosynthesis. So, maksudnya tak ada extra pun. Because, you ingat, the extra glucose that produced be, uh, because of photosynthesis is needed for the plant to grow and also for the plant to produce fruits. Okay? 
So, kalau dekat Q ni, ngam-ngam saja. Tak ada extra. So, bukanlah. So, dekat point mana? Point R. Kenapa point R? Okay. Tengok sini jawapan. At point R. Kerana at this point R, okay, the light intensity higher. So, rate of photosynthesis pun higher. Bila rate of photosynthesis higher, more glucose will produce. And then, disebabkan banyak sangat glucose ni. So, buah-buahan tu, the fruits will become sweeter and bigger. Okay. And, at the same time, okay, bila terlalu banyak pro, uh, product of photosynthesis, ingat ada dua, glucose dengan oxygen. So, oxygen banyak, cukup, cukup banyak sangat. So, the rate of respiration akan increase. Bila rate of respiration increase because of too many of oxygen, enough lah maksudnya pokok tu cukup untuk buat respiration, more energy will be produced. So, the rate of growth for the plant also increase. Boleh faham? Okay. So, salinlah jawapan dalam soalan ni. Okay. So, ha, dah habis dah. Betul-betul dah habis. Alright. So, that's all. Habis dah chapter 2. Okay. Next class, kita proceed dengan chapter 3. Alright. Okay. Bye.